I feel that the work I do is about growing humanity. Because once we understand that black is not evil, that you know, black is not bad, right? That we have in fact contributed a lot to the, the development of humanity in the world. I think that it's gonna change the way the whole world responds to us. My name is Ludlow Bailey. I was born in the Caribbean and I was raised in New York. I was a guy that loved cafes and museums, but I mean, that was something that I was exposed to living in New York and my mother made us go. By the time I was out of high school, I'd already been to the Metropolitan and the Museum of Modern Art in Whitney. And I didn't really know that I was gonna end up working in the art space because it was not my intention. I was a pretty smart kid. I graduated at 16, um, got into a lot of Ivy League schools, ended up going to Brown University, where I studied classics and philosophy. At Brown, I became what's known as a Watson Fellow. I won a uh, fellowship to go study contemporary African philosophy in Africa. I started at the University of Dakar and then I went to the University of Legon, and then I also went to the American University in Cairo. So that's where I think I got introduced to a lot of new ideas about uh, black people that excited me, and it started to help me define myself as a global African. The story of the art piece is interesting because I ended up working for TWA, and that got me just flying all over the world intensely. The one thing that is true about art historically, it's always been a barometer for um, the level of, of civility um, that, that uh, humanity achieves. Because when we are connected to source energy, we start uh, thinking better and we produce art that actually has an influence on the overall society and the world. What most of my work has been is to put art shows together around global African art that deals with one of my most passionate interests is learning to understand the metaphysical and spiritual infrastructure of blackness. Because clearly there is something unique about the way black people in the world do culture, right? So uh, I've become a cultural curator of contemporary black art. And my thing is about, as a humanist, I feel that the work I do is about growing humanity. Because once we understand that black is not evil, that you know, black is not bad, right? That we have in fact contributed a lot to the, the development of humanity in the world. I think that it's gonna change the way the whole world responds to us. And I think that Africa has an enormous amount of talent and possibility. And clearly the black community here does too. Because if you look at the achievements of black people in America, they've been extraordinary on every single level despite the, the, the amount of discrimination and exploitation. And, but my thing is not to focus on that as the main way of navigating our challenges. The first order of business to, to me is really about paying attention to your spirituality. But the truth is that art can become science. 
that art can become a possibility, right? Imagination is really one of the strongest bodies that we have, you know what I mean? And if, if our community decides we don't feel that we should do that for all young people so that everyone could be producing something that contributes to the well-being of the community, I just think that's pretty wrong. I'm not interested in saying that black people are, are superior. That's not my talk. We're an important part of humanity. I'm excited every single day I get up and I'm healthy, you know what I mean? Because I have a lot on my plate. I'm dealing with, with um, a lot of people, you know, and I always have projects in mind. I'm always curating new shows and talking to new artists and, you know, um, I, I, I'm excited about being live. Thank you.